<laughs> They're just kind of bouncing into the majestic mane of Elvis. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. Today is the winter solstice, and in real life, that means that the sun is in its lowest position in the sky. It's an extremely short day that also signals the official start of the season. In Animal Crossing, it's a bit more exciting. It's a polar night, 24 hours of darkness. You can see it's a bit after 11 in the a.m., but it looks like the middle of the night. We've got beautiful twinkling stars and holiday lights on the evergreens to brighten it up a little bit, though. It also reminds me of another game from some of the Animal Crossing developers, Splatoon. That would have these long polar perpetual nights for the Splatfests. And I think it's just about time we invite Inkwell, the octopus obsessed with all things Squiddy, to finally move into Goostin. We're gonna do that today, but first there's a bunch of other stuff happening. I wanted to show you guys, I redecorated thanks to the update. This is so much easier to do. We've got a bunch of seasonal stuff. I have the ice set, a couple things from the snowman set. We can turn this off, make it a bit more magical in here. I can sit on my cushion and punch this inflatable Resetti in the gut. He's a, a bit weird, and he takes up a ton of space, but I love him. So yeah, I'm very happy with having a nice seasonal room here instead of just, you know, sticking with the same thing because it takes hours normally to, de to decorate otherwise. I also want to show you guys a couple of items I have over here. If you've been watching recent episodes, you saw we visited Hopkins. I ended up getting the Famicom Disc Writer, and it plays a little jingle as it boots up. We also have the safe from Gonzo, the bank robin koala bear. This is just, you know, a storage device, but it is kind of nice. We have a money box over here, and I have the automatic bell dispenser in the corner, and this works just like the one at the post office. I can boot it up and do a bunch of stuff like exchange meow coupons for bells and withdraw and deposit, but I'm gonna pay the last bell on my debt so that I can expand my house and then never pay that for a while because I wanna focus on public works projects. We gotta get Katrina moved into Main Street and first we have to finish that Moai head. So that's on the docket for the future. But let's go talk to Wisp. Now that we have the excitement of my debt being paid off for now, we're gonna summon another amiibo villager, but this one is for good. I may look a little strange right now. I had my deer sweater on and I just happened to get a lucky item that was the red nose. So I figured I'd kind of complete the ensemble with uh, <laughs> with these weird bulb boppers from the summer. That's probably the closest thing I have to antlers, but now I look like a Muppet or something. Hey there, meet the coolest player in town, yours truly. So Inkwell is going to come to the campground. We're gonna go talk to him in a little bit and ask him to move in, but we also get those nice meow coupons. I love the gyro, just like vying for attention in the front of the camera. Okay, so I have a couple things that I wanna do around town. We've got some big accomplishments and I actually forgot to get the one thing out of my house that I wanted to, uh, to grab. So let me jump back in there real quick. I have been doing some fishing now that I finished up my bug collection. I've been focusing on getting some of the ocean critters and in the rivers as well. I only have a couple fish left and the other day it was snowing, the perfect time from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m., I believe, to try to fish in the ocean and get a coelacanth. I was lucky enough to find this rare fish that was once thought extinct. So I've got this now, I'm gonna pick it up. I, I put it in here because I figured this is a big occasion. Trying to catch one of these took me a couple hours. They are extremely rare, probably the most rare thing to find in the game that you have to catch. So I'm very happy that I managed to get one. We're gonna go donate that to the museum but I've also got a thing that I want to do at the post office. It's not a letter, but I did get a letter back from Brofina. I sent her back her MVP Most Valuable Poultry shirt, and she sent me something, so I've been hanging on to it here. Dear Adam, it was thoughtful of you to send me a present. Thanks, I've got a present for you too, and something tells me it's going to blow you away. I hope it suits your taste. Love, Brofina. So let's see what she got me here. She's probably not going to be wearing the shirt, but we did get a bird, <laughs> a bird feeder. Man, that suits her tastes and mine, I guess. All right, man, I think Brofina knows more than I would give her credit for. This is a game, right? Okay, so I'm going to head towards Main Street here, and we'll see if we run into anyone. We do want to head to the plaza before we go to the campground, because there is a little special event going on. Isabel's hanging out there. She's all bundled up for the winter solstice, and we can get a nice little reward for talking to her. Drago's out here, as well as Elvis. So many villagers popping up, trying to uh, hopefully get warm by Drago's fire breath. So let's head to the post office, and we're gonna connect because I just heard they have started doing 
the DLC items once again. And I know Japan's got a couple. I don't know if we're going to get more than one. I know there's at least one going on right now, but it seems like they're only lasting a little bit longer. So if you're watching this when it actually happens, definitely before the new year, try to grab this stuff if you're playing along as well. Oh, oh no! The access point we're connected to isn't giving out presents. We could change our setting. I think we might have to actually go out into the world and try to connect. I'll try to figure that out and we can get in the, the future. It is the white version of the festive, like the Christmas tree is what I think is uh, is being distributed right now. And I'm gonna talk to Nook while we're over here as well because I wanna expand my house one more time. We have a couple more expansions, I think, but I wanna do this and then get into a bunch of debt, but wait a while to pay it because I do wanna focus on trying to, uh, to get those public works done. We have a big spot left in Main Street that I have to fill with our final shop. So let's expand here. Yes, yes. Let's see, Adam. All right, we are going to, I think rather than expand the basement, I'm gonna try to get the first floor on the left is the one that I have all the Splatoon stuff in. Jeez, so much, but that's around the price of the Moai head as well. But yeah, I'm gonna expand that and then I'll try to finish up the Splatoon exhibit. We have all the stuff from Inkwell. That's why I'm inviting him to move in, but we also have to get some of the Squid Sister stuff from CC and Viche, so that is in the future as well. I know a lot of you guys are waiting, excuse me, Nan. A lot of you guys have been waiting to try to see those little squirrels that love the Squid Sisters. So we're gonna we're gonna at least invite them to the campground and get some of their stuff off of them. But I don't know if I'm gonna invite them. We're running out of space, I think. Inkwell might fill out the last spot, but I am gonna kick out Curly since we'll have three jock villagers. Oh dear, pardon me. So I've got a couple more fish left and one of which I can't get until spring. The loach I think is an exclusive to spring. Let's see what, <laughs> he's probably not gonna be any more shocked from this, hoo hoo, yeah. A coelacanth, oh, it just reminds him when he's in baby feathers. <laughs> I think one thing that would be nice if they, they, you know, changed a few things in the newer version is that, you know, blathers used to blather on and on about all this stuff and they changed it to where you actually have to go into the exhibits to learn about it. I don't mind that, I think that's a good alternative. Or maybe he could ask you if you wanna hear about it and you could turn it down, you know, he could tell you about it still, but you could also be like, nah, not right now if he didn't feel like sitting through all that. But I liked seeing his perspective on this stuff instead of him just, you know, saying it always reminds him of being in Baby Feathers, even with a coelacanth, which he's probably never seen before. But I think it would be cool to uh, have that option back because some of the characters, I think they toned down some of their chattiness. We don't see Rossetti as much anymore. I'll grab my fertilizer here. This is my daily tradition. And, uh, oh, uh-oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Hold up, Adam. Your purchase today comes with a happy bonus. It's a golden shovel. If you use it when bearing fertilizer, it makes it extra potent. Well worth the effort. Now, Adam, I know you've picked up more than your share of fertilizer for me. Yeah, we finally got the 50 bags. So I hope you'll use that shovel to help make the flowers and trees around town as happy as can be. I wonder if they changed his dialogue because since the update, we can now use this to bring back our perfect fruit trees. This, this is, I got a golden shovel. That makes me really special. There we go, okay. So that's one more golden tool. I've got the ax, the watering can, and the shovel. We could get the net if I, you know, travel to a village that is somehow in June or July. I might try to make that happen. I had somebody offer that's, you know, playing in another, another time of the year. I did see someone mention, should we, if we could play with someone from Australia, and I looked into it, and it's, you know, the seasons are kind of flipped over there but they follow the European style of, uh, they have the European version basically. So you still get, you know, a, a cold December and a warm summer or June, you know, time. And I guess it, it I know some of the, the players, I did see some people comment on it and they were like, it's kind of nice to have an opposite season to what they're used to because they normally would have a warm December and yeah, but it is a little unfortunate because we can't just, you know, hop over there and, and try to get a bug competition going on to get my net but I will try to make that happen because I think we're gonna at least play through the spring, but maybe not into the summer long enough to grab that stuff normally. And we have all the little cutouts here, the standees. I like the snowman one, because you can pose with them. Yeah, and then Isabel, she's got a nice long winter jacket. Hello, Mayor, today is the winter solstice. It's so chilly today. I prepared a little something for the winter solstice. Aren't you a little excited to see what it is? Oh, it'll go very well with my strange bulb boppers. It's a glow wand! Since it'll be nighttime all day, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Use it to stay safe in the dark. So this is an exclusive one to this event. You can get a couple others during the winter, 
like a green and pink one, but we have a blue one here. And it looks like it's maybe have a snowflake on the end. How you doing, Ganon? He's trying to fish at the tree for some reason. Never was the smartest villain. But yeah, so this is, if you want the blue one, this is the only time to get it during the year. But I've been saving up my party poppers for the new year and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna focus on the Moai head, though. We paid that, you know, that debt off, and I got a bunch of money from fishing for hours trying to get the coelacanth. But it does seem like, I thought I just heard someone ding. Was that Cranston, or? Hmm, he's just kind of wandering around. Okay, making sure if anyone has a public works project suggestion that I'm not missing out on them. Okay. So let's head over and, uh, and go to the campground. We'll see who's camping other than Inkwell, but I also want to invite him. And if Wolf Link happens to be home, we can check out his house. If not, ooh, we got a tennis racket over here. Oh, we want, yep, our tennis racket. And there's some type of uh, glass menagerie. I like the, uh, yeah, he's feeding, since I got the beans, I've seen Harvey feed the birds more. Greenhouse box, all right. I wonder if we talk to him and say, hey, Harv, if he would give us more beans, because I do have some, but I wonder if he could give us more. He might say the same stuff as before, and he's kind of like, yeah, he's, do we know each other? You just gotta bug him. Yeah, he's gonna talk about the birds being cute and everything. So we did this in another episode. I know people still ask about this and say, how'd you get the beans? You just gotta say, hey, Harv, and talk to him enough until he just, you know, wants to give you more beans, but he might know that he's already given me some. Even though he's forgetful, he might be able to figure it out. Yeah, he's talking about Shampoodle and somebody pretty special. Yeah, I think he's got a crush on the dog over there. But anyways, we've got our beans, and if Booker is here, then we've already seen his little camping setup, but this might be Coffer. Copper, I'm not sure. Co Copper emptied the coffers. Nope, it's Booker again. So again, we did do this in another episode. If he didn't get to see all the camping stuff that he brings with him. I wonder if, since Copper is working, we might have to scan him in to actually visit, because I've only ever seen Booker visit town. But anyways, we're gonna jump over here. Man, we haven't been playing that long, but we've already done a bunch of stuff. I got my gold shovel, donated the coelacanth, expanded, all that good stuff. And yeah, all of this is in my Splatoon exhibit. Maybe I'll get another squid bumper, since this is the last time that we can get that. Hey, do you live here? My name's Inkwell, and the game's not anything involving feats of strength. So let's invite him to stay, and I can still buy stuff, I think, after that. Hey, what's up? You should live here, buddy. You're awesome. Wait, it's really happening? Oh, man, I've been hoping this would work out. I mean, work out. Huh. Flat, I gotta go get ready for my move. <laughs> he just turns into a little octopus and swims away through the ink. So yeah, I've got all this stuff, and I don't think there's too much that I would want multiples of. We could probably, hmm, I don't have the Takaroka mesh on display because I like wearing that. I might actually order a few more of these things. That way, just like with the museum, I can, you know, put stuff, if I have duplicates that I want to wear, I can put some of this in the uh, the exhibit and then keep it. So yeah, another squid bumper and another splatter shot couldn't hurt since I do have a couple little mannequins. We'll show all that in the future here once I start getting some more of the, uh, the other stuff that we need from the Squid Sister fans. But yeah, that's uh, this is in a previous episode as well. But there we go, we got Inkwell on the way. There's birds all over the place. Let's, these birds gotta be cold and lonely out here. They, they need some beans to keep them company. So let's start feeding some of them. I haven't tried this on Main Street because I don't think this works in other spots. Oh, they're all over, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, they all love Harvey because he's the one feeding them over there. There we go. Yeah, look at them all, jeez. <laughs> oh. Harvey, I'm sorry. Okay, he's gonna feed him again. He gathered so many and then he's, I scared him away. But I also wanna grab this. Look, I have to replace my silver one after all these years. It's crazy. We have this gold shovel now and it looks awesome. I think it might just, yeah, make the, the fertilizer work a little better. I don't think it increases any of the money from the money rock or anything. But I think we're gonna finish up. This is such a quick episode despite all the stuff that we're doing. We've got, yeah, Wolf Link. Still wandering around town somewhere, but I'll find him. I'll find him here eventually. And uh, yeah, well, once he uh, is back in his house, we're gonna take a little tour of that because we haven't seen the inside yet. or shown the inside. Coco's creeping around in the dark, as is her way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been doing some pro- you might have glimpsed a few things. I've been doing some things at retail, like refurbishing a couple different things. I'm starting to try to do, I don't know, I've got the side room that's for Splatoon, the upstairs, which is kinda 
uh, foresty looking. I got the back room, which is all kind of modern wood in my gaming area. And I'm trying to think of what to do with the side. Man, we're just getting rid of all these beans, throwing them right in Nan's face. Maybe if we go over where the birds are over here, they'll eat them, because they don't seem to land in other spots. Oh, they're just kind of bouncing. I thought we could use these in this area, from what I heard, but maybe that was a fib. Somebody made a fibby boy of me. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a good spot where the, the beans will find purchase. <laughs> they're just kind of bouncing into the majestic mane of Elvis. I wonder if the birds are a little apprehensive to pop up when it's uh, winter here. There's the dream suite, and of course, I, I did update the dream address, put that in all the newer descriptions, and you can check it out. There's a little Easter egg if you happen to pop around during the holiday time. I'm, my little mare is in a different costume and has a different message and stuff, so I'll let you guys try to check that out. Let me try throwing it out here, because it's. I, th I had heard that it only works in Main Street or at the campground, but it doesn't seem to even work on Main Street. And it seems like the beans, yeah, they just bounce all over with no birds. It might just be too dark and too cold out for the birds to to want to fly in here. Sorry, Isabel, just throwing beans at everybody. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a lot to do still in town, a lot of things that I need to accomplish despite how much stuff we have gotten in recent times. It feels like I'm really, you know, hitting full speed by gathering all this stuff, but I've got a lot more that I need to do. Goostin is going to become even bigger and grander with more Moai heads and weird stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. And if you have an idea for a villager that you'd like to see, especially, you know, the ones from the Amiibo figures or the Amiibo cards, the new RV ones, I've got most of those. Just let me know in the comments, and I will try to you know, do those as soon as I can. We'll see you guys next time, though, for more Animal Crossing. Goodbye.